dolly lovers welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you for stopping by and checking out this video and if you're an old friend of ours welcome back and thanks for joining me for another one of my dolly videos so today i'm just chatting and changing a little bit post hurricane ida just to catch up with you guys and let you all know how i am doing Thank you all so much for the messages and comments and concern and prayers that you guys have been sending my way. This hurricane recovery was, is stressful. <laughs> oh my gosh, like going through it was crazy. It's funny because right after I posted that last video, our power went out and it remained out for the following four to five days and it was quite brutal i don't know if you guys know anything about louisiana but the heat reaches well over 100 and being that long without ac is a task like it is a situation especially if you have asthma which i do but i am grateful we made it through everything and i'll just catch you guys up as i change the babies so here I have little Mallory. She's showcasing the theme for today's outfit changing. I wanted to put a couple of the babies in some cute lemon themed outfits. So Mallory is sporting her little um, outfit with lemons and the solid color shorts and some matching sandals and bow. The bow is from Walmart, Wonder Nation. The outfit is Carter's and these shoes are um, Oshkosh Bagash. But I purchased them online at Carter's because you guys know that Carter's and Oshkosh merged not too long ago. So that is the outfit she's wearing and you guys can expect more lemons with baby Maya and Amiko. So let's get started. Alright friends, so I'm going to start off by changing baby Maya first. And you guys have already seen the theme that we're going with today. My little lemon stuff. I hadn't realized just how much matching outfits I have until I started digging through and trying to coordinate outfits for at least two of the babies at a time so i'm going with the lemon theme today and while i do this i will chat about my post hurricane situation for the most part uh everything turned out fine for us and i am forever grateful so thank you guys to everyone who reached out in concern wondering how we made out after the storm today is tuesday september 7th when i'm filming this and for the most part we are back to some form of normalcy um now we're just in the phase of recovery like getting things repaired or getting you know contacting insurance and stuff like that so for the most part, we didn't have any flood damage, so I am grateful for that. But there was a lot of wind damage, uprooted trees in the yard that definitely pose a hazard and a risk. And a lot of um, damage inside to electrical components like equipment in the house. Um, like the refrigerators out, stuff like that, outlets not working, um, and the biggest concern is our computers and stuff because currently me and a reborn daddy work from home. So that is a major issue of course, but I'm praying everything works out with our insurance and the adjuster comes and examines everything and we'll be on our way to getting things fixed but for the most part i am just grateful our electricity is back we are safe um no life-threatening type of damage so i'm happy about that 
So once again, thank you guys for checking in on me. It's been a while for me to get back to everyone um, because of the power outage. And our internet is kind of so-so. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll be slow in responding to things. But yeah, I am pretty glad that that is over for now and we're just in like i say recovery phase so thank you guys i really appreciate all the love and the messages so i'm just combing maya's little bit of combination hair there it looks so realistic with the painted hair really love it we'll put her little bow on so yeah, everything is going as you would expect it after a hurricane. But I have definitely more blessings to count than anything. Um, my workplace did undergo quite a bit of damage. So we will be working from home, I presume, because the building is not um, safe to be entered and worked in. So that will probably be some time before I can actually be working back at the office again. So, yeah, I actually prefer working from home, so I am not mad at that. It definitely saves me gas <laughs> because finding gas lately has been completely insane. Like, everybody went off the deep end buying up all the gas, buying up all the groceries. It's just been a madhouse everywhere in southern louisiana so i can't wait till things get back to some type of normal but in the meantime i have just been calming my nerves by dressing the babies snuggling on them taking pictures when i can and that sort of thing not sure when this video is going to go up uh because like I said, the internet isn't exactly reliable right now. But I thought I would film it anyway since I picked out these cute outfits. So now that Maya is all dressed, I'm going to put her in her little bassinet um, basket. And we are going to get Emiko dressed. So here baby girl Miko is, I am going to have to do a size comparison update for you guys just so you can get an idea of how big and chunky she is. Even though she wears newborn size clothes, she is quite the chunker compared to the other babies in my collection. So yeah, I will have to do that video. but. While we're here, let's talk about <laughs> the situation that's going on in the Reborn Dog community right now. And it is like, what I've been seeing is talk about the price of Reborns and the supply in demand of Reborns right now. And mainly the supplies that it takes to create Reborn Dolls. It has been quite quite the frenzy <laughs> um the manufacturer of genesis heat set paints put out their notice that their current supplies are dwindling and basically once it's out it's out like currently there is no way of obtaining the supplies it takes to manufacture the paints and of course that is concerning to a lot of reborn doll artists and collectors. And it's crazy because I'm low key kind of disappointed because I've always wanted to learn how to create reborn dolls and I have been putting it off, putting it off. Well, now it's definitely going to be put off even more so possibly um because of this supply shortage. However, the other side of the coin is that 
some artists are willing to switch to air dry paints and some aren't and I can understand like you've worked for years and years to perfect this craft with this particular um, medium and now you have to kind of switch up if you plan on continuing your business and that is pretty stressful I can imagine that being super stressful especially with no real date in sight as far as when they're going to be able to continue making these paints so I don't know I don't know how to feel about it I could understand artists wanting to increase the price of their work because of this shortage and it's crazy <laughs> It's just crazy all the way around. I do wonder how many artists are willing to switch to the air dry paints. Because I, I don't really see too many successfully done air dry paint dolls. Or maybe they're out there and I just haven't seen them or don't know that they were made with air dry. I don't know. Leave a comment below if you have a reborn baby that's made with the air dry paints. I'm curious to know the longevity of them. I do know that Miss Kat Johnson, one of my favorite reborn doll artists, I actually have three dolls in my collection made by her. Three? No, two. Two dolls in my collection made by her. And, um,. She had one doll for sale made with air dry paints that she was letting go of. And I honestly could not even tell that it was made with air dry paints. The work looked exactly the same as I'd expect with her usual Genesis heat paint dolls. But I asked her about it and what she told me was she would had that doll in her collection for over a year at least and she was able to tell that the quality of it um looked like diminished a little bit from the time that she painted it up until now like the colors weren't as vibrant I don't think she had any issues with like the paint chipping off or anything but just so it wasn't as vibrant and lively as she remember it when she first created it so Purchasing air dry, air dry painted dolls in the future, I'm open to it just to see, like just to experiment with the longevity of them. Now I will say I haven't had any doll in my collection over a year just yet. I think my oldest baby is Robin right now and I've had her just over a year now. And I can say that, I think, I can say over the years, I've not had any issues with any of my dolls that were painted with Genesis heat set paints, like no paint rubbing off or anything like that. And you guys know that I use my dolls in videos a lot and I change them on and off camera a lot. So for them to hold up for a long time with no issues it's pretty pretty important to me especially if you do YouTube videos so I don't know owning air dry painted dolls is a bit of a concern to me but it is an experience I'd like to learn about for myself as far as learning how to reborn dolls, that'll be my only option at this point if I wanted to learn how to do it because of the supply shortage. And overall, I've heard that air dry paints are a lot safer for the environment, for your health. So, I think it's worth a try at least. I'm going to put this little headband on Emiko. She looks so cute. She has the biggest ears. <laughs> she looks 
She's so cute. I think I'll cover her little ears up a little bit with the little headband. There we go. And these little shoes are just too cute. At first I wasn't sure if they were going to fit her feet, but they fit perfectly. She has really wide, chubby feet, but the newborn shoes do fit, if anybody was curious to know. So I think I'll put her bracelet back on. This pretty bracelet that Auntie Janae made us. Thank you. I've kept it all this time. But yeah, the shortage with the supplies is insane right now. And that does concern me about the future of Reborn doll collecting right now. You could probably expect to pay quite a bit more money now. Um... Or even dolls made by beginning artists so just be on the lookout I'm curious to know what you guys think have y'all seen an increase in pricing of reborn dolls because of this big announcement with the supplies um uh, I already kind of thought that the prices of reborn dolls was going up even for beginner artists that the quality isn't what you would expect. Um, but I do understand. I do know what it takes to get started in creating dolls like this. But I don't know. It's crazy. So at this point, I'm just content with the collection I do have now. I have been loving on them. I really enjoy all of them. I am on the fence about Caleb right now. My little red-haired Joanna asleep baby. Matter of fact, I'll show him to you guys. I welcomed Kayla to my collection not too long ago. Um, the only thing I am not sure about is his hair texture it is a lot rougher than i anticipated but overall he is such a cute cute baby so i don't know i'm on the fence about whether he will stay or not but yeah i think secondhand reborn doll sales is going to go pretty well for us if there is going to be a shortage in the creation of new reborn dolls because of the supplies running out very curious on how this is going to go but that is it for today's video you guys thank you for stopping by and watching if you are in the south i wish you well on any hurricane recovery um it's just crazy right now <laughs> we're all trying to find a little bit of peace and happiness wherever we can get it and right now that is with my dolls so i'm wishing you all a blessed day and i'll see you